welcome to the strong and to the 2016 National Toy Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I'm Chris Bench, Vice President for Collections. We're delighted to have an audience today that includes members of the museum's Board of Trustees, members of the Toy Hall of Fame's National Selection Advisory Committee, museum members, and representatives of the media. For those of you who are using social media throughout the induction, we are using the hashtag ToyHall2016, and the museum's Twitter handle is at Museum of Play. And our Instagram handle is at Museum of Play ROC. Also with us today are Gary Smith and Dan Agnew from the Pirate Toy Fund. The Strong is proud to serve as a collection site for toys contributed to the Pirate Toy Fund, the only local organization that provides toys year-round to children who are hospitalized or who have experienced disasters such as fire or flood. And we encourage guests who are coming to visit the museum this weekend for special National Toy Hall of Fame activities and throughout the holiday season to bring a new unwrapped toy for the Pirate Toy Fund. Today's induction is a lead-in to a weekend full of family fun that celebrates all the Hall of Fame toys around us, as well as the new ones we're inducting today. We invite all of you to join us for the activities on Saturday and Sunday, November 12 and 13. Everything that we do at The Strong is founded on the understanding that play is an essential activity, critical to learning and human development. Play is also a window into understanding American culture. And we're privileged here in Rochester to hold, care for, and interpret the world's largest and most comprehensive collection of toys, dolls, games, electronic games, and other artifacts related to play. Through the National Toy Hall of Fame, the Strong recognizes outstanding toys that have engaged multiple generations over time, inspiring them to learn, create, and discover through play. This year, 12 toys meeting the basic criteria were considered by the National Selection Advisory Committee. Those toys are Bubble Wrap, Care Bears, Clue, Coloring Book, Dungeons and Dragons, Fisher Price Little People, Nerf, Pinball, Rock'em Sock'em Robots, The Swing, Transformers, and Uno. In a moment, curators Patricia Hogan and Nick Ricketts will announce the 2016 National Toy Hall of Fame inductees that will join the 59 toys already enshrined. I promise you that it will be a big bang. Following the announcement, Patricia, Nick, and I will be available for questions and interviews. And now for the 2016 National Toy Hall of Fame induction, let me turn the podium over to my colleague, Patricia Hogan. Thank you, Chris, and good morning to you all. The first toy to be inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame today has been hanging around for centuries. It goes so far back in time, in fact, no one really knows where it came from. Archaeologists found illustrations of it on cave walls in Europe, on carved figures from the island of Crete, and on ceramic vessels from ancient Greece. And it was documented in Asia centuries ago. In the 18th century, French paintings depicted nobility with this inductee as a metaphor for merriment and reckless abandon. By the early 1900s, kids took over most installations of this toy in city parks and playgrounds, using it to reach heights they had never achieved before. Since the mid-20th century, Many Americans have added this inductee to the play areas of their own backyards in suburbia. Over the centuries, this new inductee has been made of woody vines and plant fibers, ropes and chains, even tires and crates, and more recently, of safe plastics and resins. Materials may have changed, 
but the fund derived from today's first inductee has not. The new inductee works best outdoors in the open, in fresh air, and in good weather. It requires physical exertion, muscle coordination, and some risk taking. Wait, 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 wait. It takes a, a lot more, you know, it takes much more than that. It requires physics. First, you must calculate the gravitational potential energy, U equals MGY, before you can continue and create such a. <clears throat> Over here, please. Um, may I continue? As my friend is trying to explain, the first inductee into the National Toy Hall of Fame is the swing. And now let's hand things over to curator Nick Ricketts to announce the next inductee. Thanks, Patricia. The next inductee can literally be called a game changer. Beginning in the mid-1970s, a group of Midwestern gamers developed a way to introduce storytelling and imagination into a game with rules. Once upon a time, only children could pretend, fantasize, and role play. But now, for the first time, adults could imagine that they were medieval adventurers seeking treasure or fame while battling fantastic creatures of myth and legend. The game began to appear on college campuses at first, like many intelligent games do. It was taken up by enthusiastic adult gamers and trickled down to high school students. It really caught on during the 1980s, but also caused some controversy. Some people didn't really understand the fantasy element, but all that was quelled as more and more players, parents, and educators began to realize its many virtues. It can inspire creativity and be therapeutic. It develops social, acting, and basic problem-solving skills. Perhaps most importantly, it encourages communication and in the end, deepens friendships. And while many games do this in varying degrees, this particular game unlike any other, was essentially designed around these concepts. The great philosopher of play, actor Vin Diesel, <laughs> said that playing this game was a training ground for our imagination and an opportunity to explore our own identities. I couldn't have said it better, and Vin Diesel still plays the game. Nick? 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 Yes? You're talking too much. <laughs> We're just going to play the game. Come on, everyone. We'll pick up where we left off. Everyone grab your character sheets. I am, of course, a level 10 human paladin. <laughs> And you, you are a level 11 elf mage. And you, uh, oh, uh, I, I don't really like your character. Uh, so we're gonna give you a new one. Um, let's see, we could, um, what could you do? What uh, could you may do? I finish here? Thank okay. you. Thank you. The second inductee to the National Toy Hall of Fame is Dungeons and Dragons. Looks like one of you over there still needs a character and our next inductee might just do the trick. 
In my opinion, this toy has what you need for a successful quest. While its personality might have seemed a little wooden when it first appeared in 1959, since then it's gained new dimensions and greater plasticity. Sturdily built, it has a good head on its shoulders and the capacity to triumph over whatever challenges a dungeon master might place in its path, or to stand up to heavy play, marauding pets, and the occasional journey up a vacuum hose. Whether on the farm, in the schoolhouse, or in one of dozens of other sets and settings, this toy both fits into and inspires imaginative play, something that's not such a little achievement. And your character and the next inductee is Fisher Price Little People. Little people got big imaginations. Little people got big imaginations they can open the door and drive right in there's a slide in the treehouse and a pool for a swim little people got big imaginations little so it's official the 2016 national toy hall of fame inductees are the swing dungeons and dragons and fisher price little people we'd like to We'd like to thank our talented actors today, Sean Gray, Ben Falter, Emily Onion, Heidi Dundon, Mark Firkins, Morgan Birch, and Ainsley Jacobs. I'd also like to thank Nathan Stewart from Wizards of the Coast, makers of Dungeons and Dragons, and representatives from Fisher Price, makers of Little People, for joining us this morning. In a couple minutes, we'll be unveiling our cases upstairs in the Toy Halls of Fame exhibit displaying this year's inductees. But before we do that, let me remind you one more time that we have a whole weekend of family fun planned for Saturday and Sunday celebrating all 62 toys in the National Toy Hall of Fame. And, of course, we'd love to have you all join us. Now, curators Nick Ricketts, Patricia Hogan, and I will be available for questions and interviews, and our talented cast will be available for photography. Thank you again for joining us, and have a great day.